Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, whether you're joining me from the present or the future. Welcome back to another Future Fight Vanguard video. So this video is a little more delayed than I like, um, but I'd like to kind of smallly touch upon why that is. Um, I've actually been going through a bit of heartbreak. Um, as anyone who knows me or who knows what's going on with my life uh, knows, then I've been going through some things recently. Um, probably some of the harder times of my life, I guess. Uh, in a way, yes, and in a way, no. Um, but yeah, uh, it has been preventing me from making videos, preventing me from making headway, because it is hard to make content while you are uh, in the dumps. So I'm trying to get myself out of the dumps. So we are back to making videos. Um, hopefully I will still be on schedule after this, um, trying to give you guys, you know, 110 of my percent, uh, 110 percent of my effort um, to make videos and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys are waiting um, on me to get to the new stuff. So trying to hurry this up um, as soon as we can. I just didn't expect what happened to happen. So um, yeah, we're gonna try to move past that for the time being and uh, try to pump out some videos to you guys because it's definitely unfair to you guys um, how slow I've been going um, just because you know I've been going through some, some things. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna be talking about the CB07 uh, reindeer deck. The reindeer deck is yet another one of our Bermuda archetypes uh, that basically focuses on drive checks. Um, so since Bermuda has so many different decks that focus on different mechanics, um, they pretty much have one thing that, you know, focuses on anything, like, as far as what you're looking for. But the Reindeer deck focuses on drive checking grade threes and also drive checking certain cards that treat themselves as grade threes or stuff. And it usually gives you effects based off of that. Um, so let's get right into the deck. We have four Velvet Voice Reindeer. Um, this is our new reindeer from this set. Uh, it has the same name as the old reindeer, so you just run four of this new one instead. Um, it has two abilities. The first one is when the drive check reveals this card, you can discard a card from your hand. If you do, you choose one of your units with reindeer in its name, and it gets plus 5,000 power and a critical until the end of the turn. Um, so you can basically turn it into a crit trigger when it's checked for the cost of discarding a card. And then the second ability is when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, or when your G-Unit strides, choose one of your vanguards and until the end of the turn, it gets a skill. This says when your drive check reveals a grade three card, all of your rear guards get plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. So something important to note is if you do have a booster uh, boosting your vanguard, then when you check a grade three, um, your booster will get power, which will instantly transfer to your vanguard because boost is continuous. So, you know, just something small to keep in mind. Um, the reason why this card doesn't say all units get to uh, 5k is because it would essentially be giving your um, your Bermuda deck 10k triggers before we actually got 10k triggers. Um, or it would be turning your grade threes into uh, plus 10,000 power to you know all of your all of your units. So that would be insane. Um, then we have four peaceful voice reindeer as our backup um, grade three. Um, it's kind of our backup grade three, but it's also kind of our main grade three at the same time. Uh, let me explain what I mean by that. So uh, this has to do with its two abilities. The first ability being a Vanguard skill that says once per turn, when you drive check uh, a grade three card, you can choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Um, and if you do, you choose one of your rear guards, return it to your hand. And then if there is a card named Velvet Voice Reindeer in your soul or trigger zone, uh, which means that you either you either, you either drove check it um, or it's in your soul already or you put it into the soul using the skill and then uh, this unit gets plus one drive until the end of the turn um and then the second ability is at the end of the battle that your drive check revealed a card with reindeer in its name if this card is in stand on your rear guard circle uh you can counter boss two and then if you do move this unit to your vanguard circle and this unit gets minus one drive until the end of the turn so Something I like to do is maybe put this behind Vanguard Circle, and then you will be able to um, superior ride uh, over your stride. Your stride will go back to G-Zone, and then you'll be able to uh, use this and do the effects as well. Um, then we have four Happiness for Ears uh, Marvel going into our Grade 2s. Uh, Marvel is a Reindeer-specific card that says on the Rear Guard Circle, when your Dry Check reveals a Grade 3 card, if you have a Vanguard with a Reindeer in its name, 
you may return this unit to the hand. If you do choose up to two of your units and they get plus 3000 power. So Maravil um, combos very well with uh, Rabra actually because uh, Maravil bounces itself to the hand, getting itself out of the way for another unit to come into play. And then Rabra actually calls a unit, allows you to call a unit to the field. So you're actually switching out your um, your attacking rear guards and your units um, and getting more attacks for doing so. Also more high powered attacks because of Marvel giving power. Then we have um, four Inspect Sisters Robel. Um, Respect Sister, or sorry, Inspect Sisters Robel has two abilities. The first one is a continuous ability in the trigger zone. So that's kind of rare that um, something has an effect in the trigger zone, but in the reindeer deck, that's what it's all about. So most of their effects are in the trigger zone or a good amount of them anyways. Um, it is, if you have a Vanguard with reindeer in the same, this unit gets plus one grade. So uh, it is a grade two, so it gets a grade, it turns into grade three. If you have a Vanguard with uh, reindeer in the same, when it's checked, so you'll be checking grade threes and be able to use your abilities efficiently. And then the second ability is on the rearguard circle. When this unit's attack hits a vanguard, if you have a vanguard with reindeer in its name, you can soul blast one, put this card on the bottom of the deck, and then draw two cards and shuffle. So not only do you get to shuffle the Robel in without um, ensuring that you draw it again, but it's just, you know, a free plus. Like, it's very, very good. And then we have um, four Shyness Laguna Rabra. Uh, like I said, Rabra is a very good combo to use with Marvel. Uh, that's the reason that we run her. Um, and the skill is when your dry check reveals a grade three card, if you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its name, you may Soul Blast one. If you do, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to open a rigor circle. And until the end of the turn, that unit and this unit both get 3000 power. So you make some really good numbers with Rabra and Marvel. Um, and the new unit that comes out being a hitting number, if you call a grade two or grade three. Um, and yeah, it just works very well for that. Then we run one Attractive Glow Sandy. Uh, this is basically just one of our new grade twos that says uh, continuous ability in the hand. This card can be used for the cost of calling a G Guardian as if it were a heal. So you, we basically just use this G Guard. Um, we do run Ellie's in this build. So the more we can G Guard, the better. We can G Guard up to five times in the stack. Um, then moving into our grade ones, we have four Preserving Talent Shandy. This is our Stride Fodder. Um, basically just discard it to use for stride. We don't really ever use the first ability because we don't run Loris in this deck, and this is not a Loris deck. Um, then we have four Transcend Idol Aqua. Um, it has two abilities. The first one is a Sentinel ability, but it includes in the Sentinel skill that if all the Sentinels are Transcend Idol Aqua, you can include up to six. So you can actually run six of this PG in your deck as long as this is the PG that you're running. And then uh, when this unit is placed on Guard Circle from your hand, you can choose a card from your hand, shove into the soul. And if you do choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until the end of the battle, and if the number of Sentinels in your drop zone is two or more, choose all of your rear guards and they cannot be hit until the end of the turn. So something very important about this card is it allows you to shove cards into the soul when you're PGing. So if you're on Peaceful Voice Reindeer, you can actually shove Velvet Voice Reindeer into your soul so that you're able to use the skill. Um, that's something important that people kind of overlook. Um, granted, you probably will be striding, striding most of the time anyways, so you probably won't care about that, but, you know, um, just in case. Then, we have four, uh, Dash Sisters Rabel. Um, so this is kind of like the grade two version of it, um, but this is the grade one. So it has a continuous trigger zone ability that says if we have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its name, this unit gets plus two grade. So uh, it becomes a grade three when we check it as long as we have a, a Vanguard with a Reindeer in its name. And then the second ability is when your dry check reveals a grade three card. If you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its name, you put this unit on the bottom of the deck, draw a card and counter charge. So this is our actual counter charge engine. Keeps our deck going, keeps us from using too many counter blasts and uh, keeps us from running out of resources um, indefinitely. Then we have uh, one Restful Music Lumi. Uh, so what Lumi does is it has the first skill, which is Forerunner which is this card can move back to any rear guard circle um, upon being rode upon, like most of the starters in the game. The second ability is a rear guard ability that says when your uh, drive check reveals a grade three card, choose a reindeer card from your drop zone and you may add it to your hand. So this card actually allows us to um, continue to have stride fodder and continue to have grade threes in our hand to use. Um, and that's really the reason that we use it. But the third ability, just in case you do use it, is an activation rear guard skill that's once per turn. 
says discard a grade three card from your hand and draw a card. If you do, um, if you have a Vanguard uh, with Reindeer in its name, you may put the student into your soul. If you do, counter charge one. So um, another way to counter charge and also fill our soul at the same time if we need those effects. But most likely we never will, but we can discard a grade three just to draw a card and choose not to put into soul. And then when we drive check a grade three, we'll be getting that same grade three back from our drops into our hand uh, using Lumi skills. So it's basically a free plus one, which is really good. Uh, assuming that you check the grade three. Then for our triggers, we run 12 crit and four heal. We run four Chocho Roberta as our first crit trigger. Its skill is during the main phase, you can shove it into your soul from the rear guard circle and counter charge one. Um, basically just keeps your resources alive, counter blast and soul wise. Uh, then we have four Dinky Echoes Parla. Parla has a trigger zone continuous ability that says if you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its name, this card gets plus three grade. So this is actually a crit trigger that um, acts as a grade three when it's checked, which is actually very, very important because when you're on Velvet Voice Reindeer and you have uh, used Stride, when you're checking the crit trigger, you're actually getting plus 10. Um, if you assume, if you put it all on one rear guard, you're giving plus uh, 10 and a crit to your rear guard just because when you already check a grade three, all your rear guards will get plus five. Um, and this is something that I actually do kind of often in this deck where people underestimate you, you like attack with your starter. And let's say that someone guards for a two to pass. The instant that we check this card, we already know that we've passed the attack because our um, rear guard, our boosting rear guard will get 5k, which will add to the power of our vanguard. And then all we have to do after that is just add the 5,000 and a crit to vanguard, and the attack will pass, and your opponent has to take two damage. Which a lot of times, if they're blocking that anyways, means that they're screwed if they take an attack with a crit. Uh, then we have four popping melody Layla. Layla has a generation break two rear guard ability that says when this unit boosts, counter boss one and return it to your hand. If you do until the end of the battle, double the boosted unit's power and if that unit has generation break two um give it plus one critical and then increase its uh, increase the power of the unit by like what it already is um and then you bounce it to your hand so pretty good uh it bounces to your hand no cards in this deck have generation break two on them so it won't be getting a plus uh extra crit at any time but if you notice that your opponent doesn't have a pg and you're attacking for a kind of big rear guard you can pop uh you can ha huh, that was pun unintended but Really good pun. Uh, you can actually pop Layla behind a rear guard uh, circle and then uh, attack for a big number and then double the power and your opponent will have to guard that seriously. Um, then we have four Chocho Marina, which is our new heal uh, from this set. It is basically our G Guardian heal that says when we call a G Guard using it, um, then we can uh, bind two heals from our drop zone and counter charge one or soul charge one. Basically just another way to keep our resources alive. Uh, then we have one of our ultimate stride for Magalenia, which is Zero Dragon of Distance C Megiddo. It is our ultimate stride, meaning if you fail the turn that you go into this card, you will have to bind your entire G zone. And you do have to have three face up cards in your G zone already to go into this card. And you do have to discard the same card from your hand that is on your Vanguard circle. So just be aware of those conditions. But this is pretty much like a do or die type thing that you want to do. Um, Megiddo's skill is when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, you can counter boss two. If you do choose up to five cards in total from your hand and drop zone, call them the separate rear guard circle. And until the end of the turn, they get plus 5,000 power and an ability that says that they can switch, um, they can switch positions with other units on the board after they're done attacking. So it basically allows you five attacks with your rear guard and six if you're including your Vanguard. Um, assuming that you don't check any like triggers that give you more attacks. Um, but this could be really, really good, <coughs> especially with, you know, if you have like Maribel and Rabra on the field, and let's say that you check a grade three after you attack with them, then you get to bounce and call more and uh, give power to places. So it's really good. Then we have, um, four Song of Gracious Reindeer. Um, honestly, I wish this card didn't work the way that it worked, uh, but it worked a little differently, but it works the way that it works, unfortunately. Uh, its skill is when your drive check reveals a grade 3 card, if you have a heart card with reindeer in its name, you may counter boss one, soul boss one, and choose a face down card from your G zone with the same name as this unit and turn it face up. So, And if you do, choose one of your rear guards, return it to your hand, and this unit gets plus 3000 power and a drive check. So basically, um, if you use this card twice, if you use the skill of this card twice, you won't be able to use the fourth one, uh, just because the next time that you go into this stride, 
you won't have any of the reindeers to flip for its skill. So after you go into it first stride, it's pretty much useless if you use it twice or more. Um, so just be wary of that. And it does stack. So if you check a grade, a grade three, use the skill, and then you check a grade three, use the skill, then you still get three more drive checks and it's a, a quintuple drive. Um, then we have two Chocho popular favor, Tirua. Uh, Tirua's skill it has two abilities. First one is an act ability that is Vanguard once per turn. Choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. Um, this unit gets a uh, continuous ability if you do. That says all the units uh, with Chocho in its card names in your front row get plus 5,000 power for each of your open rear guard circles. Um, this is not really useful, that useful in this deck. Uh, it just makes our Vanguard really big if we use it. And then uh, the Generation Break 3 ability is at the end of the battle that this unit attacks. Choose up to three of your rear guards, put them on the bottom of your deck in any order. If three cards were put, then you stand this unit and it gets minus two drives. So um, it's a restander for Bermuda. So something that you obviously want to try to go into um, after you're done doing your Song of Gracious Reindeer play and they're still alive. You can choose to Megiddo them. You can choose to Tiroa them. You just have a lot of options uh, and Tiroa helps you with those options. Then we have uh, two School Etoile or Etoile uh, Olivia. Um, Olivia's skill is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone is one or more, you can counterboss one, flip an Olivia face-up in your G-Zone. If you do, choose up to five of your rear guards, and if all those units have different names, return them to your hand. And if the number of cards returned is three or more, choose up to two cards from your hand and call them to separate a rear guard circle in the front row and the back row, and this unit gets plus one critical. So you want to choose different units, at least three different units on your board, bounce them, call two back to make a refresh for an attack, and then it also gets a crit. Um, solid card. Then we have one perfect performance Ange. This is our way to get around Link Joker, honestly. We have to run one as a contingency plan. Um, probably more than one if you're being completely serious about it, but um, just one if you just need to survive or just reset your board. Um, but it has an activation ability that says Vanguard skill uh, once per turn, generation break two, counter boss two, and choose a face down, uh, face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. Uh, if you do, you can choose any number of cards on any fighter circle other than Vanguard Circle and return them to the hand. Uh, this unit gets plus 5,000 power for each card returned um, until the end of the turn. And then if you return five or more cards, you draw a card. And if you return seven or more cards, this unit gets plus one drive until the end of the turn. So um, obviously rewards you for the more cards you um, return to your hand. Uh, obviously, when you use this card, you just want to play as many cards as you can to your board and then bounce everything on my side and i usually bounce everything on my opponent's side unless it's got to trigger some kind of negative abil ability for me um but you your ange will become really big and it will get quad drive so that'll be really good for you it'll also reset you against link joker um then we have our gb8 which is a uh, one festal finale final priscilla uh final priscilla's G generation reg 8 ability is at the end of the battle that this unit attacked a vanguard you can discard a card from your hand if you do uh return all of your regards to your hand and choose up to five rear guards from your hand, call them the rear guard circle, and they get plus 5,000 power. So this resets your attacks. Um, I like this card and I don't like this card because it resets your triggers. So you can't check any triggers and put them on your units because if you intend on using the skill, all of the trigger effects will um, negate themselves anyways when you bounce all the cards in the hand and recall them back out. So that's something that you guys should be wary of. Um, and it's a good, it's a pretty decent card not super good but it's also not super bad um then going into our g guardians we have one best sparkle sandy this is our generation break one g flip guardian from the fighters collection that bermuda got um it says when this unit is placed on guard circle if you're generation break one already choose the face down g guardian from your g zone turn it face up um if you do this unit gets plus 5,000 shield for every two cards in your hand and then you can counter boss one to have it gain an additional plus 5,000 shield after that so Obviously, the more cards in your hand, the bigger that it can guard for. Um, if you just need a little additional oomph to your guard, you can counterboss one and have it gain 5,000 shield as well. Um, I would be careful about that using your counterblast, just because counterblasts are important in this deck, and it's hard not to just use them up willy-nilly. Um, then we have two Luxury Wave Ellie as our new G Guardian in this deck. Um, Ellie is just really, really good. Just, you know, the better and the longer the game goes on, the better this card becomes for you to use. Um, its guard circle effect is continuous and says 
This unit gets plus 10,000 shield for every face up luxury wave Ellie in your G zone and every Sentinel in your drop zone. So the more big um, guard powers you use, um, you will be able to have it gain more shield, which is very, very beneficial for you in the long run to use. Um, then it's Generation Break 2 ability is when this card is put into your G zone face up, you can Soul Blast one. If you do, you turn this card back face down. So what that means is that this card allows you to reuse it over and over and over again, which is why we run um, an extra attractive Glow Sandy in our deck. Uh, then we have one Hand in Hand Leona. A uh, Hand in Hand Leona skill is when this unit is placed on Guard Circle. You can choose one of your rear guards and return it to your hand. If you do, choose a card from your hand and call it to Guard Circle. And then if the unit has the same name as the card returned, then that unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So you can potentially make like, you know, anything from 35, or sorry, um, 31 to 26, uh, 26, 31, 36, and 41 are all possibilities, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, just depends on what you have on the board. And you can sometimes get some really important units out of danger and then play something that's not so important or guard with that unit again, if you just know that's not that important. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, then finishing up our G guard, we have one high highest society Citron. Citron skill is just when it's placed on guard circle, choose a grade one or greater card from your hand, call it to rear guard circle. If you do call a unit and this unit gets plus 10,000 shield. So pretty easy 36K guard, not much to say about that. And with that being said, let's get right into the games. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I literally haven't talked all day. And now I'm talking for this video, my throat's like, we're so dry. I probably should have got some water before sitting down to record this. But uh, we're going into uh, Reindeer Playtest 1. We're playing as Narukami. Uh, they ride and pass, we ride and we attack them uh, for 12. We check, they check, and then they ride. Um, they use their grade one to reveal and uh, search. And then we uh, let Shatura hit, so Shatura's ability goes off. We're actually, we have a grade 3 in our hand. Uh, we attack a Vanguard, we crit our opponent, and then we attack for 14. So we did a lot of damage. Uh, we did 4 damage. And our opponent attacks our rear guard. I don't know why. It's just kind of important to him that he did, I guess. Um, but we ride and stride into the Reindeer. And then we play Rabra. We attack with the Rabra. And then we um, attack, we get a grade 3. Counter boss 1, soul boss 1, flip. Uh, bounce a card and then we check a heal a crit um, and then a grade three again so um, then our opponent G guards and our opponent strides into V buster making us bind cards and then uh, uses the starter to make us bind one more and then he plays some cards from his hand to get some advantage um, uses V buster skill to make us bind some more then he attacks us for 18 we take it access for 29 we also take it uh, he doesn't check any triggers and then uh, he attacks us for 21 um, so then we stride into uh, Chocho Tira just to get the restand we did uh, I don't like at this point in uh, knowledge we don't know if he has you know, um, the cards in his hand to be able to do what we think he can do. Um, but we attack with Chocho Tirua, he PGs, and then we check a heal trigger, uh, putting power to rear guard, crit trigger, all rear guard, and a third check, nothing. So we put three to the bottom, and we attack for 41 with two crit. Um, he G guards, and then we attack for 21, and he uh, G guards into uh, his G flip guardian, and we bind one. Um, so then he uses his Thunder Strike 4 to make me bind one, and then he strides into uh, V Buster, making us bind another one. And right now, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards bound. So, so V Buster gets, you know, plus 1 drive and plus 1 crit. Um, we do use the skill of our PG to block it. He checks a crit trigger, a crit trigger, a crit trigger, and a grade 2. And we just G-guard into Sandy, uh, flipping for it, etc. Um, then we draw and we stride um, into uh, our GB8. We attack for 16. The Vanguard. 
Um, then we attack. Uh, yeah, so then we attack for 22. Um, using the skill. He makes us retire both. And uh, then we attack the Vanguard. Um, and he guards for a 2 to pass. Uh, we check a crit trigger, uh, but nothing else. And then we use the skill of the GB8 to discard one, replace our board, and they get 5k. So we attack for 24. Then we use the crit trigger ability to attack for 28. So that was just one of those scenarios where I'm talking about where you know the crit trigger can really help you. Um, you know, don't don't doubt it. Just play it to the board and uh, have it work out for you. Um, then loading up our second game here, we're going to be loading up Reindeer 2. Um, we're actually playing against Narukami again, but it appears to be Sweep Command this time. Uh, we ride and pass. Our opponent rides, attacks us, we take a damage. Uh, we try to rush our opponent um, just to put some early damage on him. And then our opponent rides, uh, attacks our rear guards. And then we ride into our grade 3, and we call Rabra. Uh, we attack for 9, and then 9, and then uh, we attack, and uh, he 2 to passes us, and we just get 2 critical triggers. And we put, you know, all Vanguard. So we pretty much just sacked that game. Um, and this is a very early game deck, so sometimes that's just how the cookie cult comes down. Because the later the game goes, actually, the weaker the reindeer player probably is um, worse off. Just because your opponent starts to get more and more things that can actually guard them and actually be threatening to you. Um, whereas in your deck, everything is threatening in the early game, um, if you play it right. So then we ride, we attack in our game three. Uh, our opponent takes two damage. He heals one off, though, because he's good. Um, he uses his uh, Vanguard to kill our card. Then we ride and call. Uh, he takes all of our attacks, putting himself to four damage. And then uh, he puts us also to four damage. And then uh, we ride, and we're, we just can only attack um, because we don't have a grade three in our hand. And our opponent uh, two to passes us again without learning. Uh, and we actually checked Parla as our crit trigger which uh, gave our booster 5k, so our attack instantly passed, even though we only checked one trigger. Um, so our opponent um, would take two damage, and he knew that he was gonna take two damage, but he just conceded um, because he didn't see himself healing or he didn't see a, play a way for him to win. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that has been the reindeer deck. I hope you guys enjoy the deck profile. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It helps a lot more than you guys think. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay updated and support the channel. Also be sure to click the bell button next to the subscription button after you subscribe. Uh, it keeps you updated and gives you notifications on when my videos go live. You can also ch check out our social medias um, if you're interested in staying up to date on what is going on in the channel. I know I post a lot in our face in the Facebook about if something's going on, if there's reasons why a video's not coming out, etc. I posted a, you know, thing about that on my Facebook a couple days ago. So um, yeah, you guys can check out our, uh, the, you know, links down below uh, of the, in the description, which is our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then if you want to support the channel a little be beyond liking and subscribing, then you can check out our Patreon and our merch store as well. But with that being said, this has been Josh from Cardfight Empire, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, guys.